So here we are, we just actually started to walk it down the road and you can see uh, hopefully the tops here, it's actually all cloudy and mist. Um, I think they planted it and it looks sort of wet, so they planted to go up to the querying, maybe up to the car park. And uh, we decided not to do the entire ridge today, but um, we may actually just walk back down the road into Staffen, um, where there's like other stuff to see and do, and then come back up here. Or uh, Leah might do that, and I might walk on a, a ridge a little bit long further, and then just double back again and do the same. Um, and what we're thinking tomorrow is what we'll do is we'll take the bus, which is just past there, we'll take the bus uh, down to the Old Manor store and then walk up the ridge from the other side of the Old Manor store. The plan was it would probably take two days to do the ridge, so I think with the weather being as it is and the top of the ridge all cloud, it's going to be pointless to walk the whole thing when you can't see squat, um, just for the sake of doing it. So what we'll probably do is I'll try and do as much of the ridge out and back here. And then if we go up to the store, we could probably go a little bit further up. So there might just be a bit in the middle. I'll actually miss over the two days, which is what the plan was. So um, I think that'll be good. And uh, so we actually just walk down this road a little bit until we get to the turn off of the path. It takes us up uh, to the querying, quarrying. We'll have to find out how to put an inset, but it's uh, called fun for something like that. But uh, there you go. And. Um, I'm actually using the microphone here, so this should be a little bit better quality today. And uh, we'll see how it goes from this point on. Okay, later. Okay, so just turned off the main road here now to go up to the querying. And uh, yeah, the top of the ridge is actually completely socked in. So it might be a great idea today, just not to go up onto the ridge, visibility is going to be pretty damn poor anyway. So well, I think the plan is now is that uh, we'll go up to the car park area and then I might, Leanne will probably just stay there, walk back down into the staffing area where the shops are, she'll give me the um, in reach and I'll probably walk up the ridge, maybe a couple of miles up the ridge more, something like that, a few miles up and then double back and then uh, walk back down and meet her. And then um, tomorrow we'll get the bus, as I said earlier, to Portree, uh, not Portree, the Old Manor store, uh, car park, and we'll walk up the Old Manor store, and maybe a little bit further, and then double back again, and then we'll come back to the same campsite. Yeah, this campsite back there is, yeah, it's going to be way better than the one at Sky for sure. All the facilities there, and uh, there's lots of people, there's a restaurant next door. We've got a dry food we can actually cook inside, so we're only sleeping in the tent at night. And it's, uh, they've got a lounge and a guitar and, you know, we can get bottles of wine and pff, holiday time. Okay, so um, this is the, walking up this dirt track here. And um, there's two lakes, uh, two lochs, God, I've seen lakes, two lochs. There's this lock here and then it climbs up around the corner and we have another loch. And then it's a bit like the Pacific Crest Trail when you're walking back from uh, Mineral Lakes. Um, it's a sort of a high alpine type trail. Here we're on the high Scotland trail, and uh, it's actually pretty cool. And uh, it's really good. So there we go. Okay, so later. So we're just actually walking up here. You can actually see the uh, now we've got the querying right above us in the mist. Quite spooky with that mist flying across, huh? Quite amazing. It's lovely and cool today with that wind at your back, especially. You know, Leanne's ahead of me here. And uh, we a little locking. So uh, onwards and upwards. Yeah, this is actually something pretty stunning. And, uh, yeah, pretty stunning up here. Um, we're just getting to the trail that just runs along uh, the bottom of the querang. And I thought that was a querang behind me here, but it's not. Um, but uh, I'll take a little uh, hike up here. It's like something out of, I don't know, Lord of the Rings or something. But anyway, let's have a look. And uh, look at this. It's 
pretty eerie, huh? And uh, this is trail we're walking up. And the land's just ahead of me. I'll give you an indication of the sort of hiking. This is actually a proper hill walking trail. The other day there, I was just along the cliffside and it was just all grass, etc. And we've been just constantly climbing in elevation since the sea, obviously. <laughs> and uh, but this trail was pretty good. A little bit steep back there. Um, but this is what it's all about now. There's Leanne ahead of me. And uh, it is raining, but it's cool. The wind is on our back. And I'm quite happy with this weather, to be perfectly honest. It's, uh, I mean, I've basically got a t shirt on. I like it. I like her jacket and a sort of Gore Tex top. Um, but the trail itself is pretty cool. I think the only thing that's bothering me just now is underneath is my arches. There's uh, it's getting a little bit hot for some reason, I don't know why. It's one of these socks. They're probably thicker socks. Uh, yesterday and they may be causing the issue. So I'll walk past Leanne, see a video with me, <laughs> be a video with her. And uh, yeah, here's a queer egg above us. Wow. Just something out of this world. I'm so happy that Leanne managed to feel better today. You know, we don't obviously not have the tents, etc. So super cool. And I noticed it seems to be a very popular uh, option. It's effectively just go to a, an area you like. Um, where you want to park your tent down, I'd highly recommend the Flood Gary Hostel. It's super green to you park your tent out the back and you've got showers and toilets, it's open, it's warm, there's a lounge as I said, and it's just, that just makes total sense. And then there's a bus that does a loop all the way around the top end of the peninsula here of Sky. So uh, from that aspect you can do what we're doing, walk up one section, uh, unfortunately this is a you know a long 18 mile section but if you go up to the car park you can sort of walk back down to the main road and then double back again or just jump on the bus later and although the buses aren't that frequent maybe about six or seven a day and uh, as you see we're now getting we've now climbed up the elevation so that is just spooky certainly a lot of the ring stuff without a doubt we just joined the trail here so this is actually the part of the Trotney Fridge and this continues on to the north part of the mountain and uh, this is us heading up to the car park area along the flat so cool, okay later this is absolutely super cool man we're on this high ridge uh, walking to the car park the queerings right above us up here and uh, I'll switch around now and we'll get the uh, the view of um, uh, Borig and uh, man, just check this out. <laughs> oh, you can see how steep it is to the, my uh, just off to my left. You know, it sort of just falls away beneath us here. But it's a super path, super super path, and uh, yeah, I just think this is phenomenal. It's just absolutely phenomenal. So we're walking along, you get a good indication of what I'm actually looking at here. So, uh, most ahead of us. Is that not super cool? You have to put this one in your bucket list, folks. Even if you come up to Sky and you don't do the whole Sky Trail, definitely just doing this section here from uh, either way. The car park, you drive up to the car park and walk this section. Um, it's just unbelievable. Just absolutely crazy. Oh, there's the wind. Here's the wind picking up now. Feel that wind. Woohoo! Wow! You just get a strong, strong wind there. It's the Venturi. It's blowing you along. There you go. No wind. So that's basically the, the wind pipping along around the corner. That's just freaking brilliant. See you in a minute. Hopefully see you in a minute. She 
just taking some pictures back there. So we'll go back. Here she comes, here she comes, here she's coming. So uh, here's a nice little this little dry part with a seat here. It's crazy with the way the wind howls around there. Okay, uh, you get the idea, so later. Okay, so I just got to the car park after the clearing. And uh, yeah, you can see the querying out there behind us. So um, the next session is uh, we've got about 13, 13.75 miles to get to the store. And this is the, we've got probably about 4,000 elevation gain still to go uh, vertically. And there's mist all along the top. So what we're thinking is we'll walk up into the clouds and see what it's like. And then we might just probably turn back at that point, back down to here and then into staffing. And we'll suck at sea unless the crowds raise up. Okay. And uh, where we're actually going is up here into the clouds and uh, this is just where we came from looking through uh, the gap there the saddle and I uh, walk back down here it's pretty spectacular so yeah let's go and see what it's like how are we doing guys so um we just came up from the car park and then Leanne has turned back to the car park, she's going to get down to Staffen and I said I'll just walk up to the top of the ridge once it gets cloudy etc and the mist comes in I'll maybe probably turn around I just walked up the first section onto the flat part it's a bit of a slog up there I have to admit um, I'm just crouching down just now but I'll switch around and show you the uh, the mist here you can just see actually the, the cliff here that's actually all the way down and um, the wind luckily enough is coming from the north east so the wind is actually coming, it's not going to... You can see how the mist is coming in. And um, if we go up here, we'll see, I uh, don't want to get blown off with the wind here. Um, but this is a vertical cliff. And uh, holy fuck, Brrr, that gives me the willies. Woo, baby. Yeah, that's, uh, you know what it'd be? I think fuck, the wind is coming this way. I didn't realise how steep that was. <laughs> Got my heart pumping, pumping there. Um, yeah, I'm glad the wind is blowing in my face here, not like trying to blow me off the cliff. Uh, I'll just come in a little bit deeper now. So, uh, yeah, you can see how it's whipping up. It's about 15 to 20 mile an hour, the wind up here. So, let me just walk along a little bit and then turn around. But you can see the other side of a sky here there's water maybe in the distance there and over there there's a couple of ships um, coming up so uh, yeah uh, uh, I didn't realise that <laughs> just behind me here there that's just that's a, well, that's a good that's a good that's probably a good 800,000 feet down that's straight down anyway okay I'm going to finish my sausage roll walk a little bit and maybe turn around and go back uh, you can, I can see the rest of the ridge today is all in deep mist and I don't want to be walking along here and if I can't see anything you're just walking for the sake of walking which uh, defeats the purpose for me but this first section today was absolutely stunning and you'll see the videos from that later okay, ciao ciao